from Andrew Hayward, a government advisor, the threat of what he called catastrophe if restrictions were not further tightened in the face of the new variant. Professor Neil Ferguson is an epidemiologist from Imperial College London. He's been closely involved in examining the new variant as a member of NERVTAG, the new and emerging respiratory virus threats advisory group. Undoubtedly, the new variant has made the situation considerably more difficult, which is clearly causing rapid increases in incidents, both in terms of PCR tested cases uh, and, and more importantly, hospital admissions, particularly in the areas where it is most prevalent, southeast, east of England um, and London. I think key at the moment is what's going to happen in the next week to 10 days. It's difficult to interpret the data just because people's reporting patterns, uh, likelihood of getting testing is affected by the Christmas celebrations. There's a little hint of case numbers perhaps plattering a little, which is what we might hope for with schools shut and people not contacting each other much. But we will just have to wait and see, really. Yes, you, you mentioned, I think, in an interview with the Today programme just before Christmas, how the, the two-week uh, school closure should probably see variants of the virus declining. I suppose people would have taken that and thought, well, that should mean then hospital numbers will also decline. And yet they have climbed and climbed and climbed. And that is exactly what we'd expect. I mean, there's considerable lag between when people get infected and then they get tested and then they're likely to have been admitted to hospital. I mean, typically a, a week delay between the onset of symptoms and being hospitalised. So we're still basically seeing a rise in hospitalisations associated with people who were infected a week or even two weeks ago. Um, but you're absolutely right that we hope, and we can't guarantee it, given how much more transmissible we think this variant is, but we hope that the overall effect of the the you know, two-week, um, probably more like three-week school closure period and the Christmas break will be at least to plant, cause cases to plateau and hospital admissions to plateau. I completely agree, though, the data don't show that at the moment. We can just hope for the next few days. Schools are that important, are they, as, as transmission zones? No, and historically, throughout this pandemic, they haven't been critically important. The challenge is that every place matters. And so given a lot of the most heavily affected areas were under quite a high level of, of social distancing measures, high tiers coming up to Christmas, one of the few remaining areas where some transmission could happen was schools and associated with schools, not necessarily in schools. And so clearly with schools being shut, contact rates are going to reduce, um, which is why we're hopeful is probably the wrong word, but we have an expectation that um, at least the rate of growth will slow in cases and admissions may plateau over this period. It all sounds rather knife edge in areas of already high transmission, that, that the schools play an, as an important role because of, of there are already restrictions in place, that they are one of the few things that, that are, there are still areas of transmission. I mean, this entire last year has been, you know, since since lockdown was relaxed in May, has been a balancing act between trying to keep on top of the virus and maintain and maintain some semblance of normal society. And this new variant has just made that difficult. We have even less wiggle room, let's put it. And so it's not that schools are critically important um, for the transmission of the virus. It's just that in order to maintain control with this new variant circulating, which we think is perhaps 50% more transmissible than, than previous COVID viruses, then, then we just have that much less leeway in terms of allowing contacts to happen. And, and schools in that context may be rather critical. Clearly no one wants to keep schools shut, but if that's the only alternative to having exponentially growing numbers of hospitalizations that may be required at least for a period. I mean, there are no easy solutions here. I have to say my, my real concern is that even if university schools do have staggered returns or even stay closed, how easy it will be to maintain control of the virus given that is, is unclear right now, um, given how much more transmissible this variant is.
much hangs, does it not, then on vaccination? And the faster we can roll out vaccination, the better. And I completely, well, the two million doses a week is 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 the government plan target. And I completely agree with London School um, paper in, in recommending that. That's a kind of what we need to be getting to very quickly indeed. Professor Neil Ferguson. Almost overnight in Britain this year, many people became experts in pandemic response. 